Don't talk about your problems non-stop. Have you ever noticed when someone asks you what's going on and then you kind of share the problem, but then you keep talking about the problem and then the problem actually doesn't go away and you leave the conversation feeling drained and exhausted and the person listening probably does too. The quick tip here for you is that you want to be honest with where you're at, but you don't also want to have the negative connotation with where you're at. We want to stay where you're at in an empowering way. You know, let's face it, if you're not in a recovery program, let's say you're not in our program and you don't have a plan and you're a little bit lost and you're overwhelmed, well, it's understandable that you're going to be really lost. And so you're going to be coming from that place. Whether you're in our program or not, and you've got a plan or not, what I recommend is being in the now. You know, sometimes we feel like we need to catch up and basically make an excuse or find a reason to people to excuse ourselves from not being in living mode. I remember when I felt that pressure, when I was going through this experience of chronic fatigue syndrome, and I felt like I had to over explain myself to every single person to explain why I wasn't at school, to explain why I wasn't playing sport, to explain why I couldn't do these things that everyone else could do. And it actually was the thing that was inhibiting me from recovering. It was actually in the way because I was mentally rehearsing to myself that things weren't good. And when I did that, then I focused on all the things that weren't working. And when I did that, then I didn't do anything that would help me do what would work. The game changed for me when I learned the power of mental rehearsal. And when I learned this, I came from a different perspective and attitude, and it literally changed how I felt in the moment, but also for the future. And so I went from saying, oh my God, I just feel so tired and sick all the time. I'm so over it. It sucks. I'm sure you guys can relate listening to this at home to when someone said, Hey, Toby, how are you? And I'd be saying, yeah, I'm okay. Like some days are harder than others, but you know, I'm working on my recovery and slowly but surely I'm getting better. Full stop. Now notice how much lighter that feels in your body when you can come from that place. And here's the kick up. Not only is that going to help you in the moment, it's going to make you feel better, but also make the other person not feel drained either. It's creating space for you in the now and in the future towards more of what you want. Language is a very powerful thing. 